Hi, my name is Adam Everton. I work at Kodamera in Gothenburg, Sweden, where we use Drupal to build websites. And we love Drupal, and we also want to share as much knowledge of Drupal as possible. And this screencast is one of the ways we give back to Drupal and the community. Today we're going to take a closer look at two modules that can help make the administration part of Drupal a little bit better. And the two modules are Field Group and Simplify. If you've had your Drupal site for quite a while or your content types are quite complicated, um, they might look something like this. Um, you've added a quite a lot of fields and um, when you're creating in this case articles um, the note form are quite long and, and it doesn't look that good and field group can help out with this by grouping um, different fields together to make it a more sleek experience and to do so uh, field group is the first module I'm going to show we go to modules and I've already downloaded the two modules so I'm enabling field group and I'm enabling simplify uh, at the same time so I'm going to save that and our field group also need chaos tools or C tools to function so I've downloaded that as well and let's click continue all right so back to this and reload and you see down here that field group has been enabled. You can use field groups uh, for the display the, the, uh, to sort and group the, uh, the output as well on your Drupal site. But today I'm going to focus on uh, the back end of Drupal, so to speak. All right, so uh, let's add a group. And to make this work, I'm, I'm going to choose uh, the vertical tabs. Um, version of, of field group. I'm gonna, uh, I like vertical tabs and I'm going to show uh, the different items in another screencast as well. So today I'm going to focus on a vertical tab. Right, so this is an article. Uh, I'm going to call this group just article and make this a vertical tabs group. Right, so and here it is. So let's add uh, another group to that or, or to be more precise a vertical tab. Now let's, if I look at my fields uh, I try to see what I have and, and what fields can I group together. So for example we have um, yeah we have author, author, author image and author shoe size. Uh, these three fields can easily be grouped together. So that's Call this author and author group, and this is now a vertical tab. So here we have article, which is the main group, the vertical tabs group, and then we have author, and just we just drag and drop this, or drag, indent it a little, and then move the fields down here. All right, so we have three fields with author as common denominator. And yeah, that's a good start. All right, so uh, when creating, in this case, an article, this is what it looks like from the start. But when we save this and reload, you should be able to see a slight difference. All right, if we scroll down and here it is. This is what field group looks like in action. Uh, we created a vertical tab called author and we dragged the three fields in there. And now we're going to go on and create more vertical tabs. And uh, I'm just going to speed the movie up. It's not that interesting, so I'm going to speed it up a little.
So I've created a couple of more groups and I've indented or chosen the fields for each group. I've, I've, um, I've added basic, which I'm going to put at the top here, uh, with title, teaser, teaser image, body image and tags. Uh, author was the first one we created, uh, chosen to call one miscellaneous with a random meme image and nice quote and also a tab for source. And the different tabs are all vertical tabs. Um, I'm just going to save this and my little change becomes... Alright, so... Um, these are all belonging to the article. If I'm I'm just going to show what happens if I don't uh, create a vertical tabs group. Uh, the big difference is, let's reload this, and you see here are the basic author and miscellaneous, but we're missing um, the one called source. And if I don't create a vertical tabs group and uh, indent the vertical tabs under that one, it ends up down here. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to align that there and save. Reload. Alright, so this is uh, basically what field group does. Uh, it just groups your fields together and make a better impression of, uh, of the, the node add form. So all the fields I've chosen to be uh, in the basic field uh, group are here and I just click along. And of course the red little asterisk um, informs us that we have a mandatory field that needs to be filled out. Alright, so that's what field groups, uh, field, the module field group does. And uh, now at the bottom here we have these uh, uh, these fields with a lot of information and if um, if you don't need these uh, the module simplify could help out by basically uh, removing this or hiding them from from the user right so next step is uh, to get to know simplify a little bit better All right to make simplify work uh, you enable the module which I did at the beginning of the screencast and you go to configuration and scroll down to user interface and there you have simplify. Um, and from this page, from this settings page, you can hide fields from all node forms. So if I'm going to choose, for example, menu settings, uh, that will affect all of my content types. Uh, but I can also customize the different content types and to do that I go to structure, content types, and then edit the content type I want to customize. And you see here in one of the vertical tabs you have simplify and here you have the different items that you can hide from this content type. And if I choose to uh, block or remove uh, the menu settings on all node forms, save this, um, reload this, you see that I can't affect this. Uh, so it's already been crossed out. And I'm going to choose just to remove all of these. I don't want anything to clutter up my content types. And it's not the different content types or nodes uh, that you can remove stuff with Simplify. You can also uh, remove text format selection on users, comments, taxonomy, uh, where you also have a relation in, and URL alias, and also on blocks. So Simplify is not only about making the, uh, the content types of the nodes, uh, node add part or node edit part uh, a bit better and, and more sleek. Uh, you can also remove other stuff that clutter up your Drupal. Right, so let's save this and we go to another site uh, where I'm logged in as an editor. So I'm going to add some content and here we have our vertical tabs that field group organized for us. But if we scroll down, we see that the 
uh, vertical tabs for menu settings, etc., are gone. And that's because all of them has been crossed out. And uh, that's basically what Simplify does. It, it hides stuff from, um, from the new types or, or blocks or comments uh, to make your editing experience a little bit better in Drupal. All right. Thank you for watching our screencast. I apologize for my rather bad English. Uh, I'm working on it. And um, do comment on the guides and screencasts we have put together on our website and YouTube channel. All right. Goodbye.